Welcome or welcome back. I need help at C squared. In this example, we will graph this function f of x equals x squared minus 6x plus 14. And this is what we call a quadratic function. Why? Because you have this power of 2. And I said here down, the, quad, the graph of a quadratic function is a U-shaped curve called parabola. We're going to get something like this or like this an upside down parabola or a regular parabola. So the question is, how do I get a graph? There are a couple ways, and I think the best way is this one. x equals negative b over 2a. If you remember this formula, uh, that will be the starting point. And the question is, how much is b? The b is, let's start with a. a is the number that goes with x squared. In this case, we have this invisible one. Uh, the b is the number that goes with x, so we have that negative 6, be sure you have that negative uh, sign, and c is, in case we need it, we don't need it read now, is this 14, positive 14. So, in this case, we have negative b, negative, negative 6 over 2a, 2 times 1. I put a parenthesis here just to show this substitution and we have here positive 6 over 2 and that will be 3 okay so what is this 3 here it has two meanings first of all it means that um, the x of symmetry is x equals 3 so let me put that here axis of symmetry because these parabolas this u-shaped curve they have an axis of symmetry so i'm gonna count to three and i'm gonna draw this dash line okay this is the axis of symmetry also it means that x equals three is the x coordinate of the vertex x coordinate of the vertex okay so uh, how do we find the y coordinate so that means on this axis of symmetry x equals 3 the vertex is which i think makes sense how do we find the y y you take that 3 and plug it in your function f of 3 that's the meaning so after you find x you plug it in your function and you get the y. And we have here 3 squared minus 6 times 3. Let me be consistent, use these parentheses even though we don't need them, plus 14. And we have here what? 9 minus 18 plus 14. So how much is that? 9 minus 18, negative 9 plus 4. I think that is positive. Five. The y coordinate of the vertex is positive five. I exactly like that. I'm going to call it viv, which stands for the vertex is at three and five. So, which means here on this axis of symmetry, I'm going to count five. One, two, three, four, five. This is the vertex. So. The question is how this parabola is going to go. It's going to go up because we notice this a, it's greater than zero. So it's a regular parabola or the upside down parabola. But how wide it is? For that reason, you have a couple of choices. And one of the choices is to find what we call the x, I'm sorry, the y-intercept. So for finding the y-intercept, we're going to make x equal zero we're going to evaluate the function at zero and that's something very easy because if you put zero this is gone this is gone you have only 14. so the y-intercept is 0 14 which if you look here that's a problem even for me one two three four five six seven eight nine ten let me somewhere here okay that's gonna be the graph and I can reflect that point and get get a 
a similar point right here okay so this is one way to do it is I sketch it I want you to take a look here I have the graph and yeah this is the vertex I mentioned which is three and five of course you do not see it on my picture but I want you to take a look this is a nice point this is a nice point how do you get that well, you can go one left of the vertex x equals two and evaluate f of 2, which is not super complicated. It will be 2 squared minus 6 times 2 plus 14, right? That will be something that is easier to be handled. 4 minus 12 plus 14, right? Because this is going to be nothing else than 4, right? f of 2 is, in fact, uh, 6. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, 4 plus 14, 18, my, uh, 6, which we see it here. Easier to plot and get the graph in case you need this way. Um, and that's it. If you enjoyed this uh, example, don't forget to click the like button and come back at C squared for more help. Thank you.